Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kushni Sevnarayan and I will take you through how to download and upload your examination paper. Where can I download my examination paper? You will need to access MyUNISA on the following URL. On the landing page for MyUNISA, just before you log in, you will find the link to log in and download your exam question paper. This is what the landing page would look like when the exam becomes available. You can click here to download your question paper or here under important links. You will need to click on the link to open the tool. Log in with your student number and password. Then you will need to find your module code on the next page and download your examination paper. How do you upload your answer file? On the landing page for MyUNISA, just before you log in, like I've shown you just now, you would need to go back to the link where you downloaded your examination paper. Like so. You would have to go back onto the landing page to upload your question paper. You can log in using your student number and password. On the next screen, you need to find your module code for which you want to submit an answer file. Click on the link to submit answer file. This link will only display if the examination session is still open for file submissions. So if you have passed the due date, you, this link will not be available. A new screen will open that will guide you through the steps to upload your answer file. Step 1. Click on the Browse button next to File Name. In the Choose File dialog box, select the file you want to upload and then click OK. Be careful, you will need to select the correct document. Select the correct program format from the File Format drop-down list. Most modules only allow PDF formatted files to be uploaded. So please check this out. Read the honesty declaration statement. If you agree to the honesty declaration statement, type I agree in the text box. You cannot continue to upload the process if you do not complete the requirements of the declaration. Click on the continue button. Step two, in this step, you will need to verify that you are uploading the correct answer file to the correct course and assessment number. You will need to click on the Continue button to submit your answer file. If you do not click Continue, no submission action will take place. Large files will take longer to upload than smaller files, so please exercise patience after you've clicked Continue. It will upload. If the wrong details, for example, file name, appear on the screen, click back to restart the file upload process. The assessment submission report. This is proof that your answer file was indeed submitted. It is advisable to print or take a screenshot of this page just for record purposes. A copy of this page will also be emailed to your MyLife email account. Preparing your answer file. Please make sure that your answer file contains all the pages you want to submit. Do not submit your scanned pages one by one because each time you upload a file, it replaces the previous submission. Only the last file received by UNISA will be marked. So please beware of this. Do not password protect your file. If you do, we will be unable to mark your, your exam and a zero mark will be assigned. The first page should clearly state your name, student number and the module code. Remember to number all the pages in your answer file. Write using a black pen and not a pencil if you are handwriting your submission. Use a proper PDF conversion software to create the final file for upload. 
it is, a, it is advisable that you submit a PDF formatted file. Add your student number and the module code in the file name. This will assist you to select the correct document to upload during submission. How do I prepare my handwritten answers for upload? Here are some steps to help you scan your handwritten answer sheets and convert it to an electronic file for upload onto MyUNISA. You will need a mobile phone loaded with a scanning application. Here are some instructions for Apple devices. You will need to go to the App Store and search for the scanner app and download it. This is, this is what it looks like for Apple devices. Make sure that the scanner app is installed properly and the only way that you will be able to know this is if the icon appears on your mobile phone. The next step is that you need to take pictures of all your answer sheets and save them to your phone gallery to ensure that the upload can be done successfully on the scanner app. Now, launch the scanner app on your phone and click on the options button. The plus sign to select an option on how to scan the answer sheet. Select your preferred option, whether to export the previous photos or to take new pictures. Next, go to the gallery, like so, and select the answer sheets in chronological order. So, for example, if this is the first page, I will click on this first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Then you will need to click on Save, and the document will be saved under your files as a PDF file. You can now upload the scanned document to my UNISA. Here are some instructions for Android devices. You will need to go to the Play Store app and download Scanner App to PDF. This is what it would look like. Make sure that the Scanner app is installed properly. The only way you would know how is if the icon appears on your mobile phone. This is what the icon would look like. When accessing the app for the first time, Please choose Continue with a limited version. You will be asked to allow the app access to certain folders on your mobile phone. Click on Continue. Tap on the camera icon to scan the paper. If it's a single page, choose Single. If you have more than one page in your exam, Choose Batch. If you are using Batch, click Photo for each page and tick on Finish when you are done. When scanning, it will present a crop window. Click on the tick when you are done editing the document. How to add or retrieve the document to upload? Click on the Open From and choose your phone. In the image below, it will be Galaxy 8, S8 for example. A new window will open. Look for the folder, tap Scanner, and double click on that folder. Now, choose the relevant document in that folder. Please remember what it's saved as. You can now upload the scanned document to MyUNISA. Thank you.